Hello Green Nation and welcome to the Diecast Motorcycle Week series. In today's episode we are going to be taking a look at my top 8 favorite 118 scale classic Java motorcycle replicas and showcase them in this Diecast Bike Week episode. So stay tuned with me on this one and let's get this started. Well I really love the bike week that takes place annually all over the world where biker communities gather together as one to showcase their beautiful rides and also to enjoy and appreciate these beautiful pieces of art on two wheels. So as a diecast motorcycle collector I came up with the concept to kick start a bike week series for my 118 scale diecast motorcycles where I will dedicate an episode to one motorcycle brand and feature my top favorite motorcycle replicas from my collection. So today's bike week episode is dedicated to Java motorcycles and all you Java and classic enthusiasts out there. So let's go ahead and take a look at today's Java motorcycle lineup and get this die class bike week episode started. And a quick disclaimer before we kick start, I am not sponsored by any of the brands featured in today's video and I'm doing this solely out of passion for my hobby and my love for motorcycles. And on the same note, None of today's featured motorcycles are ranked in any particular order based on looks or performance but are my personal favorites for my collection for today's featured brand. But if you choose to feel free to rank them and let me know in the comments below. So let's begin today's Java motorcycle lineup with the 1956 Java 500 OHC which is a motorcycle replica manufactured by Abrex. This is a black and chrome variant with quite a decent 500 cc two cylinder four stroke engine sculpt and this replica is manufactured mostly of die cast and a few bits and bobs with high grade plastic which makes it look premium the seat is well sculpted with a two tone black and gray and i love the chrome wheels although this model is quite light to the touch this is a true to life styling model and highly recommended as a collectible so let's go ahead and take a look at this amazing classic beauty Next up is the 1966 Java 350 automatic which is a die cast motorcycle replica manufactured by Abrex. This is a white variant with fine gold pinstripe details and has quite a decent four stroke single cylinder engine sculpt and this replica is manufactured mostly of die cast and a few bits and bobs with high grade plastic which makes it premium looking. The seat is well sculpted with a classic black finish and I love the chrome wheels and exhaust that makes this model stand out. Although this model is quite light to the touch, this is a true to life styling model and highly recommended as a collectible. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this amazing Java 350 replica. What we're looking at now is the 1950 Java 250 Parak which is a die cast motorcycle replica manufactured by Abrex. This is a military green variant which has a retro style to it and this replica is manufactured mostly of die cast and a few components made of high grade plastic which makes it premium looking. The single seat is well sculpted in brown which goes well with the double saddle bags mounted over the rear with their yellow accents. The dull silver dual exhaust and the matching matte green wheels make this retro beauty a complete package. Although this model is quite light to the touch, this is a true to life styling model and highly recommended as a collectible. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Java motorcycle replica. Next up is the 1966 Java 350 automatic which is a die cast motorcycle replica manufactured by Abrex. This is a navy variant with fine gold pinstripe details and has quite a decent four stroke single cylinder engine sculpt. 
and this replica is manufactured mostly of die cast and a few bits and bobs with high grade plastic which makes it premium looking. The seat is well sculpted with a classic black finish and I love the chrome wheels and exhausts that make this model stand out. Although this model is quite light to the touch, this is a true to life styling model and highly recommended as a collectible. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful 350 automatic replica. Up next is the 1948 Jawa 350 Auger which is a die-cast motorcycle replica manufactured by Abrex. This is an ash grey variant with gold pin striping and has quite an impressive engine sculpt. And this replica is manufactured mostly of die-cast and a few components made of high grade plastic which makes it premium looking. The single seat is well sculpted with a deep maroon colour that matches the chrome fuel tank caps, the wheels and the trademark dual chromed exhaust. This model is quite light to the touch and should be handled with care but is a true to life styling model with amazing details and highly recommended as a collectible. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this 350 Auger motorcycle replica. What we're looking at now is a 1950 Jawa 250 Parak, which is a die-cast motorcycle replica manufactured by Abrex. Well, this is a maroon variant with amazing and well-detailed gold pin striping. And this replica is manufactured mostly of die-cast and a few components made of high-grade plastic, which makes it premium looking. The seat is well sculpted in a two-tone red and black that complements the overall aesthetics of this ride. The chromed exhausts the wheels and the side caps of the fuel tank makes this ride stand out. And although this model is quite light to the touch, this is a highly detailed and a true to life styled model and highly recommended as a collectible. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Jawa motorcycle replica. Next up is a 1948 Jawa 250 Parak, which is a die-cast motorcycle replica manufactured by Abrex. Well, this is a maroon variant with the signature Jawa gold pinstripe details and has quite a decent engine sculpt. And this replica is manufactured mostly of die-cast and a few components made of high-grade plastic which makes it premium looking. The single seat is well sculpted with a retro orange which complements the chromed wheels, the signature dual chromed exhaust and the well sculpted chromed fuel tank side caps. Although this model is quite light to the touch, this is a true to life styling model and highly recommended as a collectible. So let's go ahead and take a look at this 1948 vintage Jawa motorcycle replica. And finally, we have the 1966 Jawa 350 Automatic, which is a die-cast motorcycle replica manufactured by Abrex. Well, this is a maroon variant with fine gold pinstripe details and has quite a decent engine sculpt. And this replica is manufactured mostly of die-cast and a few components made of high-grade plastic, which makes it premium looking. The seat is well sculpted with a dual tone black and grey which complements the paint job and chromed wheels and the dual exhaust that make this model stand out. Although this model is quite light to the touch, this is a highly detailed and true to life replica and highly recommended as a collectible. So let's go ahead and take a look at this amazing Jawa motorcycle replica. And in case you need further information on these Jawa motorcycle replicas, kindly subscribe to DNation and stay tuned for exclusive unboxing and reviews coming soon. So now let's place these classic Jawa beauties on the DNation dyno and check out their wheel spin and their functionality. And in case you're interested, kindly find further features and specifications regarding these amazing Jawa diecast motorcycle replicas in the description below. And stay tuned for some fun facts on Jawa motorcycles coming up.
Well everything seems to be spot on and up to my expectations with these classic Java diecast motorcycle replicas. And so with that being said, let's place these diecast models on the D-Nation turntable and take a look at these beauties in a 360 degree view. And here are a few fun facts. Java is a motorcycle and moped manufacturer founded in Prague, Czechoslovakia in 1929 by František Jancek who bought the motorcycle division of Wanderer. The name Java was established by combining the first letters of Janicek and Wanderer. In the past, especially in the 1950s, Java was one of the top motorcycle manufacturers and exported its 350 into over 120 countries. The best known model was the 350 Parak and in the 1970s the 350 Californian. It appeared in the typical black and red colouring from Californian beaches to New Zealand. After 1990, there was a significant loss of production. A successor company was formed in 1997 in Tenek Nat Shazavu, continuing the name as Java Moto. Ideal Java India Limited, based in Mysore, was an Indian motorcycle company which produced licensed Java motorcycles beginning in 1960 under the brand name Java and from 1973 as Yesti, and the company stopped production in 1996. Earlier models were manufactured in Czechoslovakia and bore the CZ Java emblem on the side of the fuel tank. The locally manufactured models always add O within the Java emblem. Java motorcycles got a resurrection in India in December 2018 by Classic Legends which is owned by Mahendra through a licensing deal with Java Moto. And on a side note, Java motorcycles have a cult following to this present day. And for further information on Java motorcycles, kindly check the link in the description below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones any one of these Java motorcycle replicas, I drop the Best Buy links in the description below. So go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested. And also please do let me know in the comments below as to which one of these amazing classic Java motorcycle replicas are your favorite. And kindly continue to support D Nation by subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also by liking and sharing our videos. And please do check out the rest of the 118 scale diecast motorcycle episodes and the diecast bike week episodes in the playlist below. And this brings us to the end of this classic diecast Java bike week episode and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. 
And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And also click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. And if you get to share your views and thoughts on this episode, please do drop your comments below and stay tuned for all new episodes coming up. Well, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.